Dear students, uh, thank you very much also for the invitation for the webinar and also uh, a warm welcome from my side. I'm Yannick Stahl. I'm yeah, from the University of Magdeburg and I'm really honored to present you today our master program called Medical Systems Engineering. And uh, to give you a small impression, we are from Magdeburg and uh, it is, yeah, located like one and a half hours from, from Berlin, uh, here in the, in the middle of Germany, in Saxony-Anhalt. And um, like you can see here, some impressions from the campus. We have um, one campus where also our program uh, takes place, medical systems engineering. It is a really uh, green campus, which a uh, high amount of green areas. Um, but I don't want to go into the detail about the uh, OVGU in Magdeburg. You can get more information from the My German University uh, website, where also information about Magdeburg and the university are written. Uh, I want to go more into detail about our master program, Medical Systems Engineering. And for you, that you can see maybe some faces, uh, um, who coordinates and leads the master program. So this is... Uh, myself and my colleague Philip Berg, who's also present today here and will answer them, uh, some questions in the uh, Q&A and in the chat. Uh, we are responsible for the course coordination. So all subject specific um, information, course specific information and so on and so forth. We can give you answers about that uh, and you can reach us via email. Uh, which is written here. You can reach us both with this uh, master.meters at ovgu.de. And there is uh, Professor Georg Rose, who is the head and the inventor of this uh, master program. Um, he is mostly responsible for teaching in the area of medical imaging uh, and CT, uh, so computer tomography. And he's also the head of the uh, research campus Stimulate, where you can see the logo here. And maybe I will come also to the research campus stimulate later, but to give you just some, some first information, it is a research institute from the university which covers, so which connects all related research and uh, activities in medical technology and medical engineering at the University of Magdeburg. So when you decide to study um, the Master of Medical Systems Engineering in Magdeburg, you will get directly also into contact with this uh, research institute here. <clears throat> so um, now let's go a little bit more into detail into this master program, so how it is uh, structured and organized. So the, the University of Magdeburg has nine faculties, and our master program is uh, associated to the Faculty of uh, Electrical Engineering and Information Technology and uh, into the Institute of Medical Technology. And to give you some first uh, hard facts, so some first information, um, the duration of our master program is four semester and the total workload is 120 CP or also called ECTS, um, the, credit, the European credit points. Um, so you will, you will do uh, around 30 CP each semester. Um, when you finished uh, our master program with the master thesis, you will get the degree as a master of science and all the whole master program is taught in uh, English. So no German uh, language uh, is required for this. <clears throat> um, the characteristics of our studies, uh, it is a really a research oriented uh, master program. Um, it is modular and really interdisciplinary, so there's a high amount of uh, deepening and elective modules possible, but I will come to this later. And it is also a very, a very international uh, study program. And this you can also see here with the latest study program statistics. So we have 100 applicants per year, uh, so over 100 applicants per year. And you can see that um, that uh, with the with the gray bars that we have a really a high amount of international students, so over seventy percent uh, also in the in the last years. Um, and what you can also see is that uh, there is an increasing number of uh, female students also in our program, which is really remarkable for an engineering um, course of study. 
Yeah, regarding the admission requirements, um, to do our master program in medical systems engineering, you will need, uh, of course, a bachelor degree um, in an engineering discipline. So in the best case, it is medical technology, medical engineering, biomedical engineering, but we also accept um, students from electrical engineering um, or computer science or similar engineering discipline. You have to prove that uh, that you have a CP, so that you have knowledge in the fields of math, uh, physics, electric engineering, information technology, and computer science, but which is in the most cases covered with these uh, engineering disciplines. And uh, it is also good if you have some prior knowledge in medicine or biology, but this is not mandatory because you have courses uh, regarding medicine and biology also in the first semesters. Um, your bachelor's average grade uh, should be um, at least good in the German academic grading system. So uh, less than or less or equal to 2.5. And um, you have to prove your, uh, the, the, your English language skills with the uh, TOEFL test, uh, which at least are um, 90 points, or which uh, IELTS uh, test, which, uh, which points of at least uh, six Point five. The application process is conducted by uh, UniAssist, um, and since we matriculate every summer term, the deadline is uh, until December 15, and it will open, uh, or it is uh, opened uh, until October, uh, or starting from October 15, from the previous year of the summer term matriculation. So let's dive directly into the structure of our program. So as I said, it is modular. So we have compulsory modules, which is about 50 CP. And then we have uh, deepening uh, modules, uh, where you have to choose two deepenings, which 15 CP each. And then there are remaining 10 CP, which uh, you can choose from the whole catalog of elective modules. And then there are 30 CP left which you can earn for your uh, master thesis. And in the first two semester, like you can see here, you will have mainly the um, compulsory modules, which are then divided into technical compulsory modules and methodological and social compulsory modules. And starting from the second semester, you will start with your uh, deepening modules um, and then ending in the fourth semester with your master thesis. Here you can see uh, just a, a snip from our um, um, examination regulations. Um, you will find all the documents also on our uh, website. We have a QR code at the end of the presentation. But just to give you an impression, in, in the first semester, you will have also really a high variety of different modules, um, like, for example, some medical modules, uh, anatomy for engineering students, but also real medical technology related modules, like basics of medical imaging science, and also classical engineering modules like uh, programming and also uh, some mathematical foundations. And there are also two modules uh, assigned to some methodological and social um, uh, modules like scientific working or solution design in medical engineering. But all these information you can find in our uh, documents, which are located on our website. And yeah, you can see now um, the uh, the deepenings uh, you can choose uh, during your course of study. And yeah, this is a really colorful uh, image. Um, and the reason why it is so colorful, because the colorfulness represents also the high, um, highly interdisciplinary possibilities to deepen your knowledge during your studies. So we have... Um, in our deepings, we cover almost all disciplines in uh, medical engineering, um, like medical imaging, where you have courses regarding computer tomography, magnetic resonance imaging, or also some advanced imaging techniques. You can also deepen your knowledge more in the medical physics uh, area, so radiation, radiation protection, or also nuclear medicine. We have some advanced techniques like AI in image and signal processing, and some completely different um, areas like medical regulatory affairs, so how to get a medical product into the market, or also uh, orthopedic engineering um, and some, uh, some, some of that. And I also want to highlight uh, this deepening possibility. This is called the uh, research track, and I think that's a really a unique possibility uh, during our studies. 
Um, because our university and the profile of our uh, study program is really research oriented for um, students who are really highly interested into research and really high performing and proactive, they can choose a project in cooperation with, with a supervisor on a research institute or also in a, in a company to conduct um, a project um, in a duration of two semesters uh, to replace one of these um, deepening modules. So this is there it is possible to really uh, dive really deep into a project and uh, process it like similar to a master thesis. And uh, therefore you can get 15 CP at the end. And I think that's really uh, a really good point because it gives you the possibility to not just go to lectures and to to go to um, some tutorials. So you have you can earn CP for a really self chosen project where you can really dive deep into research. And speaking of uh, research, uh, at the end of the talk, I want to um, present you some of the most prominent research areas we have in in Magdeburg and at uh, our university. And I named it at the beginning, we have the research campus stimulate directly onto on our uh, university campus. And this, the research campus stimulates connect all activities regarding medical engineering in, uh, in one building, so to say. Uh, so we have different activities um, there and it's really uh, close to our master program and many students uh, conduct um, projects there. Um, and I will present you some topics um, of that. So we have uh, at our university, the Department of Medical Engineering, um, where most research and lectures are covering uh, medical imaging um, aspects like uh, X-ray and computer tomography imaging. Uh, there are also projects and um, lectures regarding computer tomography development and some more medical physics based um, research like breath gas analysis or um, molecular imaging or nuclear medicine. Then we have the department of biomedical magnetic resonance. So from the MR imaging uh, perspective, there we have um, aspects regarding interventional MRI, ultra high field MRI, so machines with seven Tesla or even higher, and also advanced MR imagery construction um, projects, uh, where also deep learning is uh, involved. Then we have the more the uh, Department of Simulation and Graphics, so more from the computer science point of view, the visualization of medical aspects, uh, image processing of medical images, uh, where also deep learning is involved, and also the usage, usage of virtual and augmented reality in the field or in the clinical field and in the field of medicine. And last but not least, we have the Department of Fluid Dynamics and Thermodynamics, uh, which mainly um, which mainly copes um, aspects regarding computational fluid dynamics, so CFD uh, simulations, mainly for the blood flow inside of uh, vascular structures, like you can see in a, in a cerebral aneurysm, where we can simulate the blood flow and help clinicians to improve their treatment strategies and to get more insights into these uh, pathologies. Yes, and with, uh, with this, I, I want to thank you very much for your attention. I'm at the end of my talk. With this QR code, uh, you can you are directly redirected to our website where you can get all this information which I told you. And if you have questions, you can also use our email address to contact either uh, Philip or me, and we will happy to answer your questions. So thank you very much.